Hey there, it's Christy Pushki with Grocerygeek.com and CompletelyNourished.com and today I'm going to show you how to make almond flour for half the price you'll find at a natural food store. Now, if you're into gluten-free baking, you might use nut flours a lot and almond flour is kind of a go-to in gluten-free or paleo style baking. But the stuff you find at the store, but the price is sky high, like twice the amount of just buying plain almond. Or you might even not live anywhere near a health food store that actually carries almond meal and you're stuck buying almonds and trying to make your own. I've tried this before in a food processor, it doesn't work that great. And I usually make it in my Vitamix or you could use another high powered blender, works pretty good. But I wanted to show you that you can actually make it in any old blender that you might have on hand. So. I just have here a $20 cheapy blender that I used to use before I had my Vitamix and just some regular plain almonds. You don't want them to be roasted or any kind of oils or salt, just regular almonds. And if you don't have a natural food store and you're just shopping at a regular grocer, a good bet, a good place to find the plain ones is skip the snack aisle and just head for the baking aisle. You'll often find just plain nuts there that haven't been roasted, no oils, no salts, no other ingredients. In the snack aisle, you'll sometimes find them, but you'll also find a bunch of additive filled nuts as well. So what the key to this in a regular blender, and even in a Vitamix really, unless you have a dry container, is to only do a small amount at a time. One cup seems to work perfectly. So dump one cup of almonds in the regular blender. I use the grind function, but any function should work just fine. And it's on high. And you're just going to blend it and you'll see it's just going to turn into um, kind of a coarse almond meal. Now this is going to have a little bit of a brown hue unlike the blanched almond flour that you'll see in most stores but, but I use this to make muffins, cookies, all sorts of recipes and it works out just fine. So the great thing about the high power blenders is that you don't have to stop what you're doing and kind of mix everything up into the blade, but it's no big deal. The money savings is definitely worth it. All right, so it kind of had stopped mixing. So I stopped, stirred it up a little bit because I can still see a few crumbs in there. I'm going to blend it one more time. All right, again, it's really only blending the stuff in the middle, but that's all right because it's done. So I like to use a butter knife to get it out of the blender because it's just easy to finagle around the blade in the bottom compared to using a spatula or something. And if your almond meal gets a little warm from the blender, which definitely happens when I use the high power blender when I'm trying to use the wet container, you might have a few clumps that stick together but you can just break them up with your hand and you can see this texture is great. Every once in a while you'll end up with a little piece of nut in there like this but again I'm usually just making cookies or muffins so it really doesn't matter. So there you have it. Make your own almond meal. Instead of paying $12 a pound you can just buy plain almonds and make your own. I hope you found this useful. Check out CompletelyNourished.com and Grocerygeek.com for more great tips and recipes for natural eating.